Hello students, I am Ajay Karmarkar. Before starting video, I would like to tell you something. Please sit with copy pen. If you find somewhere important, pause the video, note it and proceed on. If you find somewhere difficulty, then please write in comment box. I will definitely solve your problem. And along with, please like, share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students. Thank you once again. Now here is the question. Two equilateral triangular prism P1 and P2 are kept with their sides parallel to each other in vacuum. As shown in figure, a light ray enters prism P1 at an angle of incidence theta such that the undergoing ray undergoes minimum deviation in prism P2. If the respective refractive indices of P1 and P2 are root 3 by 2 and uh, root 3, then theta is equal to sin inverse into bracket root 3 by 2 sin pi by beta, where the value of beta is fill in the blank. And this question is asked JE Advanced 2024. Now, what is the question? Here we have given two prism and one side is parallel to other side. Okay, this is P1 prism and this is P2 prism. Here the refractive index of P1 that is root 3 by 2 and uh, here the refractive index of second prism P2 that is root 3. Here very important things that in this uh, prism means P2 there is shows minimum deviation. Is it okay? Here no any restriction even in P1. Let us say here given the vertices of first prism A, B, C, if we have joined our common line, consider for convenient to solve this question, okay, there is no effect if we have to leave the space or not, okay. So, therefore, we have to join both the prism. So, here A, B, C and this is B. Now, here this prism shows minimum deviation that is important things. So, here first refraction given the name R1, draw this is perpendicular, this is R2 and here again this shows the refraction and goes to this direction. Is it okay? So, here very important things in given question that uh, P2 prism shows minimum deviation. What does it mean? As we know that the relation of the refraction through the prism that is A equal to R1 plus R2. This is the common condition for both the prism. But in this case for the minimum condition, for minimum deviation, okay. So, here minimum deviation R1 is equal to R2. Let us say R. So, here A equal to R plus R that is A equal to 2 R. Here given that the prism are equilateral, it means 60 degree, each angle is 60 degree. So, here 60 by 2 that is R, so it is 30. So, this angle is 30, this angle is 30. Is it okay? So, here the first refraction we have taken the surface BC, AB. So, surface AB for surface AB here mu equal to sin i upon sin r. Here mu it can be written as first prism and second prism 1 mu 2 here angle of incidence that is r2 for the this uh, second prism. Okay. So, here i is equal to r2 and here r angle of refraction that is 30 and here mu 2 upon mu 1 sin r 2 upon sin 30 here mu 2 refractive index of second prism that is root 3 and mu 1 that is uh, root 3 by 2 is equal to sin r 2 and sin 30. Is it okay? Here root 3 sin 30 is equal to 
रूट थ्री बाय टू साइन आर टू रूट थ्री साइन थर्टी दैट इज वन बाय टू रूट थ्री बाय रूट टू इट कैन बी रिटर्न बिकॉज रूट होल रूट ऑफ थ्री बाय टू इट ओके नॉट ओनली रूट थ्री बाय टू दैट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग्स ओके सो हियर साइन आर टू रूट थ्री here 2 can be written as 2 times of root 2 root 2 is equal to root 3 by root 2 sin root 2 uh, sin sorry uh, r2 here root 3 root 3 cancel out one root 2 cancel out then sin r2 is equal to 1 by root 2 means sin r2 is equal to sin 45 it means r2 equal to 45 so here we get 45 r2 is it okay now we come on the prism p1 is it okay again as we know that a equal to r1 plus r2 here a that is again this is equilateral triangle so this is 60 equal to r1 here r2 that is 45 so here r1 equal to 60 minus uh, 45 that is 15 degree is it okay so r1 equal to 15 degree now again for the surface ab for surface ab again using here the prism for the deviation condition that is mu equal to sin i upon sin r so here 1 mu 2 sin i that is i is given that is theta and here i uh, here angle of uh, refraction that is r1 sin r1 here mu2 upon mu1 is equal to sin theta upon sin r1 here mu2 this is means second first medium and second medium here given that root 3 by 2 whole root okay And mu one that is there, so therefore one, and sine theta here sine fifteen degree because r one that is fifteen, so sine theta is equal to root three by two sine fifteen. Is it okay? And here theta is equal to sine inverse root three by two sine. 15 can be written as a convert into radian that is pi by it can be written pi by 180 degree into radian okay so 15 one by 15 and 15 to the 30 so therefore theta is equal to sin inverse root 3 by 2 sin here uh, pi by 12 okay so let's see by comparing sin inverse root 3 by 2 here whole root and uh, sin pi by beta so here beta in the place of beta that is 12 so beta is equal to 12 is the correct answer i hope so you understood this question thank you for staying till the end of this video definitely when will become success all contribution goes to your hard work but if my videos my lectures my questions will help in your success i will consider myself lucky please like share and subscribe my channel that can reach more and more students thank you once again take care bye bye